Welcome everyone to IDB. It is Andrew here and we have our second installment of our HomeKit automation series. We're going to take a look at some beginner as well as more advanced techniques for automating your smart home. And today we're going to look at groupings, not only between different zones and rooms, but between different accessories. So some stuff might be a little bit high level, but we'll get into a little bit more detail. So starting off, I just want to give a high level on the difference between rooms and zones and all of that. And I'm going to use the Eve app just because it's better to visualize it. Basically, your home is broken out into rooms and zones. So accessories can go into rooms and then rooms can go into zones. So in my home, I have upstairs, downstairs, then I have outside and inside. And then, of course, I have all the different rooms in my home, dining room, living room, kitchen, bathrooms, bedrooms. All of that is broken up and inside each of those different rooms is all of my individual accessories. Now, while rooms are fairly straightforward and understandable, those go into zones, which are a little bit more abstract. And zones can be any groupings of rooms. And a room can go into one zone or multiple zones. For instance, pretty much all of mine are in different zones because my dining room, it is downstairs as well as inside. So when I ask Siri to turn off my downstairs lights, it knows that. Or if I say turn off my inside lights, it knows that. Now, zones in rooms are a great way to control multiple accessories at once. You can even set up different scenes that can control multiple accessories. However, what happens when you have a different light fixture? Like these ceiling lights that I have mounted in my kitchen and my dining room. I have three lights all together. There is pretty much never a time that I want to turn on just one of those. Or better yet, I have this tall light here in my dining room and inside there are two bulbs. I don't really want to control those separately each time. Every time I create a scene, I have to include both of those. And when I say I want to turn on the tall light, I have to do it for bulb number one and bulb number two. So you can see here inside of the dining room on my home app, I have dining room tall light one and dining room tall light two. One way to better manage these two bulbs that are inside of a single light is to group them into a single accessory. I'm going to 3D touch on one of those lights and tap on details. So we're looking at tall light one and towards the bottom I can group with other accessories. And now you can see tall light one is still already selected and I'm also going to select tall light two. And I'm going to name my new accessory just tall light. Now this one accessory, this one accessory name, this one entity, I can control just like I would before. You can see now in my full list of accessories inside of the dining room, I no longer have two individual lights. I just have one dining room tall light and I can tap on, I can turn it off, I can dim it, I can do everything that I normally could with the two individual bulbs, but I can do it at the same time. If I dig back into the details there, you can see I have all the normal stuff that I could edit for a single bulb, but I have a new option to view the included accessories. I can add or remove any accessories that are in there or just completely ungroup them. Now, instead of having to worry about a scene or turning on each bulb individually, I can just say, hey Siri, turn off the tall light. Hey Siri, turn off, turn on the tall light. And it is completely able to do that. As I showed you at the beginning, a few of the different lights in my home that I use this on, there are tons of situations where this comes into play. It could be multiple outlets that you want to control altogether. It could be my kitchen island lights where I have three BR30 down lights going on. My kitchen cabinets, these are actually just a strip light going across. So that is just a single light, even if it has like a plural going on there. And then the kitchen cabinets up on top, these are above the cabinets. Again, three different lights, but I always want to control them together. And this just makes it a whole lot easier to do so. For some people, this tip may have been a little bit easy, but I've run across many, many people's home kit homes where they haven't taken advantage of this really powerful feature. And it just makes it a little bit more simple and easier to understand and control your home kit home. Make sure you check out the rest of our series. Make sure to subscribe for each new iteration and share any tips, suggestions, or other ideas down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.